Okay, so today we're going to be looking at questions 41 and 42 from the SAT number 9. This is from April 2017. And the test, or question 41 says, Henry would most likely have responded to Pendleton's claim about the members of the convention by asserting that they did something, right? And basically, do we have the text here, which are going to give us the evidence for how Henry would likely have responded to Pendleton's claim. So the way that I'm going to solve this is I'm going to first go back to passage 2, and I'm going to look for a claim that Pendleton makes about the members of the convention. So I'm going to keep scanning, right, keep scanning to see what kind of claim could be there. Um, and eventually we should end up to here, right, the members of the convention. If we scan, we'll find that. And what does he say? He says the members of the convention were to consider all the defects in our general government and were not confined to any particular plan were they deceived, right? So in context, this is basically um, Pendleton re uh, objecting to the objection that the convention, the constitutional convention, overstepped their power, right? He's saying the power of the convention is doubted. He's like, but what was the power? It was to propose, not to determine, and the power of proposing was very broad. It extended to remove all the defects in the government, etc. So this is basically Pendleton making the claim that they were justified in establishing a new constitution or in creating something new. They had the power to propose, not just to determine or, or fix things. And we should sort of already have the intuition that elsewhere, Henry sort of had maybe claimed that they did overstep their boundaries, that they only were supposed to make amendments to the, to the Confederation, not to entirely replace it, that they, they stepped over too much power. So we should kind of expect to find a text that will match that. But let's go through 42. We go through lines 6 to 10 first which say, and here I would make this inquiry of those worthy characters who composed a part of the late federal convention. I am sure they were fully impressed with the necessity of forming a great consolidated government instead of a confederation. So this is basically him. Um, Henry is making this claim that he says, you know, I'm sure that those who did the, uh, the convention, those who did propose this new constitution, I'm sure they thought that they had to create a new consolidated government instead of a confederation. What we should register here is that this is him sort of making, not a concession, but he's sort of framing his issue, right? It's almost like he's beginning by saying, like, I'm sure they thought they were doing the right thing, but, and we should expect the but is really going to be more indicative of his point of view as opposed to this sentence here, even though it is about the federal convention. Um, so in any case, it's just him saying, I'm sure they thought they were doing the right thing, right? Um, the next lines is, I think, 11 through, what is it, 11 through 13, which is right here, and that says that this is a consolidated government is demonstrably clear, right? So basically, the fact that I'm right that this is a consolidated government is very clear, and it's very dangerous. I don't think this is sort of about the fact that the Constitution is more about the Constitution than it is about a, a response about the members of the convention. Then we have 3942, which is down here. This says the federal convention ought to have amended the old system. For this purpose, they were solely delegated. The object of their mission extended to no other consideration. I think this is pretty good. This is sort of talking about what rights the federal convention had, right? We remember that Pendleton is making the claim that they had power to propose to determine they had broad powers. And here is Henry rebutting that um, or objecting to that. He's basically saying they only should have fixed the old system, not to create an entirely new one, right? So I think this is a good choice here. Then we have 42 through 46, which says, you must therefore forgive the solicitation of one unworthy member to know what danger could have arisen under the present confederation. And what are the causes of this proposal to change our government? This is sort of like a rhetorical apology, right? You know, forgive my asking. Um, he doesn't mean it, obviously. It's just a rhetorical um, something rhetorical that he's using to make his point that there's no danger that we should have replaced the confederation, right? Why are we proposing to change our government? Um, if there's no danger, please tell me what danger it is. Again, I think this does not really have to do with the powers that the convention had, which is what Pendleton is talking about. So I don't think this is a good choice. So I really do think C is our best option. I feel pretty confident with that. And again, basically what C is saying is that the federal convention only should have fixed the old system. That's why they were delegated. That was their purpose. It extended to no other consideration. And, Pendle and uh, Pendleton here, yeah, so that's what Henry's saying. Um, and then Pendleton here is basically saying that they had the power. It extended, it was very broad powers. It extended to remove all the defects in the government, etc. So let's find the answer choice from uh, for 41 about Henry's view. Um, basically, he would respond to Pendleton's claim by saying that they did not sufficiently address the defects of the Confederation. I don't think this is right. This would be if Henry is making the view that um, they didn't go far enough. They didn't do enough to fix the Confederation. If anything, he thinks they went too far. They kind of overset their boundaries. They don't really have this answer choice in 
um, the passage or in the text. So I think this is not a good one. We could probably get rid of it. Then B says they should not have proposed an entirely new form of government. I think that's pretty strong. It matches C, right? Um, all they should have done was amend the old system, right? They extended to no other consideration, so they shouldn't have proposed an entirely new government, right? Which is what Pendleton said they were okay doing. So this is good. C says they were seeking only to enact the wishes of the American people. I don't really think that this is how Henry would respond. Um, they don't really talk about the wishes of the American people. Um, if they did, um, I think the only thing that that Henry says in, he doesn't say this in any of the texts, right? He's not talking about the enacting of the wishes of the American people. If anything, I think he would say that the convention is, is maybe it is enacting the wishes of the American people, but I don't think he agrees that that's a proper justification. Remember, he says he wants to put states' rights over people's rights. So it, it would be weird for him to be making this argument. But the most important thing is it's not in any of the texts. Then we have D, which says they failed to understand the danger of taking no significant action. This might give us some pause because we know that Pendleton starts by saying if we don't take action here, um, you know, bad things are going to happen. We might lose our government forever. But I think that he, one, that's not an option for our text where he's talking about they didn't understand the danger of taking um, significant action. Um, but if anything, I think probably they took too significant an action, meaning they did too much. And his complaint is that they overstepped their boundaries, not that they really didn't understand um, that they, they were scared to make too much of a decision. They didn't understand the necessity or the danger of what would happen if they didn't take significant action. If anything, he's criticizing them for taking too much action. So I don't think D is correct. And that's going to leave us with answer choice B for question 41 and answer choice C for question 42.